For nearly five years, Brittany Goff suffered at the hands of a mysterious illness that left her chronically fatigued and in constant pain. But after being diagnosed with Lyme disease, she thought she'd found an answer to her health problems. Now, two years after that diagnosis, the 20-year-old's condition is becoming intolerable. I told myself if the pain gets worse, I just didn't even want to live anymore. At the end of her rope, Brittany makes a last-ditch appointment with Dr. Daniel Joller. Her symptoms were compatible with a diagnosis of chronic Lyme disease. But I began to suspect there might be something else going on in addition to Lyme disease. Dr. Joller orders a series of blood tests to confirm his hunch. One month later, Brittany and Patty get the results. Brittany's test results it showed that not only did she have persistent Lyme disease, but also confirmed that she was suffering also from babesiosis. I had never heard of babesiosis before in my life. I was completely shocked. Babesiosis is caused by a protozoan parasite called Babesia microti. When a person's infected, the parasite targets red blood cells, which transport oxygen throughout the body, and that can cause numerous problems for the host. Inside Brittany's bloodstream, the Babesia parasites continue to invade red blood cells where they feed and reproduce. Eventually, the parasites destroy the red blood cells, flooding the body with their offspring. As the Babesia parasites wipe out the cells, Brittany's oxygen levels decrease, resulting in extreme fatigue. It was very frightening and scary to know that I've had a parasite living in my body for the past eight years and I didn't even know it. In many cases, those infected don't experience any symptoms because their spleen is able to remove the infected cells from the blood. But when the body's immune system is compromised by another condition such as Lyme disease, the spleen can become overworked and the Babesia parasite takes hold. If that happens, the consequences can be dire. 